Hello YouTube, it's Tom from T-Dubs and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace your headlight switch for an automatic headlight switch just like these ones here Now the first step is to remove the old headlight switch. Now it's quite an easy process, but if you're not aware, I'll do this quite slowly so you can see. Now you need to push this dial inwards and turn it to the center. And now you can pull it away. Now obviously you don't want that to keep bleeping, so just switch it off. Okay, that's the first step. Right, now behind here, don't worry about this bit, you probably won't have that on yours, that's just the power for my um, electric windows. Now you need to release this, now there's a small clip here and one on the other side too, which is just there. Now I'm probably going to need two hands for this, so I'm going to have to, yeah, so, oh no, it's quite fiddly, it's doable with one, that's fine. So that's the first step. Now. This is the old piece. Um, you can do what you like with your bit, but I'm gonna keep mine just in case. So this is the new module going in, uh, but first of all, we need to connect up the wiring loom. To do that, we're gonna get access behind this panel here. So with a trim tool, gently prise in and just gently release it. You don't wanna do any damage to these guys. So you can get in behind your unit as well now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass my existing loom back through and bring it out the side just so I've got a bit more access to it. Now your loom comes with the new control panel which will plug into your existing loom. And it also comes with the small loom which will plug into the back of the new headlight switch okay so your first step is obviously to plug your old loom or your existing loom from your van into the new loom okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that bit okay so that's connected in now I for the purpose of this video I'm literally gonna uh, wire it in. Uh, I'm gonna find a sensible spot for this guy to live. And I'm gonna obviously fit and program my auto lights to come on as auto lights when I open my van. And I'm going to just gently relay this to a spot at the top here. Um, I'm probably gonna go for halfway down the pillar uh, and just have it come looping out and then at a later stage, I will tidy up the, the loom inside. But for, as I said, just for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna show you how to fit it. Now it is a real quick job. Um, you can see it's only taken me like, if you cut all the edits out, a minute literally to take apart and, re, and re, rebuild this. So as you can see, what I've done is I've got the sensor up through one of these little holes and I'm just going to pop it up the top here. Now I'm going to stick mine probably about here. Um, oh, but as you can see, the sticky tape on this is not very good. So I'm probably going to use a more stronger double sided tape in a moment, but I'll sort that out in a second. Look, that's, that's pretty poor. And I have cleaned this bit, so I don't understand why it won't stick. But never mind, I'll get back to that in a moment. So the next step is to thread the new loom through the existing hole in your dash, making sure you've kept your wires relatively tidy underneath. And now we're gonna connect this up and place her inside. And she should 
just clip in. Okay, so I've gone ahead and used a more adhesive double-sided tape and I've just mounted up the top there and carefully got the wire just to hide behind there. Now, obviously the last step for the fitting is to just replace this panel. So I can tuck that panel back inside, carefully not squashing the wire and just pop her in. Nice, and that looks much better Actually, I'm really chuffed with that. Right, so the next step is to program it. So the first step to program your um, new module here is to turn on the ignition just to the first stage. So your lights and what have you come on. Uh, that's just to let me know I need fuel, which is lovely. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to turn to auto. Okay, we're gonna place it in auto. We're gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn it back on again. And you heard it, give it a click. Now what we're going to go from this position is we're going to go from auto to the main beam because that's what I'd quite like to come on when I unlock my vehicle and we're going to go from to there to back again. Now that should be set. So I'm happy with the fitting, the setup. So what I'm going to do now is turn my ignition on and all I'm going to do is put my finger over here and to check the lights come on I'm going to just check the inside lights bar around by my thingamajiggies. Now you can see that light's lit up. Now I'm going to release my finger and hopefully after a few seconds they'll go off. Cam along. Fantastic. So that's letting me know that at least this sensor works. And although it is daytime, uh, you can see that my lights have come on. Now a bit flickery, but that's just the light. So I'm just going to unlock my van. Now, what I've done is I haven't set up my auto lights to be my um, home, drive me home lights. You know, when you unlock your van, they come on and you, they light up for you. What I've already done is set my DRLs to do that. So I'm just going to show you that quickly as well. So there you go. So my DRLs come on rather than my main headlights. So that's it. All done. Nice and quick, easy mod for you to do on your own T5. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe, like my channel, and follow me for more videos. This is Tom from T-Dubs.